When it comes to building a bridge, the first step is the design phase. If your design is bad, so is the bridge. And that's why our new harbor bridge is so far behind schedule. Now, the original designer, Fig, is still on parts of the project, even after some concerns with the design. And the new engineer on the project is still using parts based on the original design by Fig that TxDOT says is flawed. So when I learned that there was another bridge right here in Texas that was also designed by FIG, delayed for two different years, cost roughly the same thing, and was spanning over a major ship channel, I decided it was time for a road trip. This road led me all the way to Houston, where they're in the middle of constructing what they call the New Ship Channel Bridge. Their progress looks similar to our own New Harbor Bridge, and is also meant to eventually replace their old bridge. When I got there, I met up with Harris County Commissioner Adrian Garcia, who was one of the driving forces to eventually take FIG off their project. I, I did not want to be rolling around in my grave, knowing that there was something I could have done and failed to do. After the bridge collapse in Florida, Garcia pushed for an independent engineer to go over the safety of the bridge design even though construction had just started. When the report came out in early 2020, it shocked him. 21 significant findings uh, that were not positive attached to this design, uh, then that's when I said, okay, what, what do we need to do? Roberto Trevino is the new executive director of the Harris County Toll Road Authority and oversees the contractors on the bridge. As we were evaluating it, we put safety above all else. Uh, unfortunately, we were already under construction and some of the aspects of the bridge that were already constructed uh, had design flaws. I don't know if it had been immediately or in 10 years from now, uh, but I am told by knowledgeable engineers that I respect that it would have failed. The decision was ultimately made to not only fire FIG from the project, but also to demolish every aspect of the bridge that had flaws, beginning a two-year halt on new construction. It has to be done very carefully. Uh, you know, it's, it's not as simple as just taking a wrecking ball to what was built. We really needed to preserve the foundations, the good foundations that were already in place underground. So it had to be very methodical, demolition of the existing work. The cost to demolish most of what was designed by FIG and hire a new engineer, $300 million, bringing the total cost up to $1.3 billion. But it's a cost that engineers say could have saved lives and much more in reconstruction. It would easily have been in the billions of dollars had the the these steps not been taken at the time they were taken. Uh, the bridges are not exactly the same, but they are very similar. With these two bridges, we know that they were both originally designed by FIG. Both have an expected opening date or partial opening date of 2025, and both were delayed years due to FIG being released, and they're both over budget. With multiple different change orders, which are essentially new charges the developers are asking TxDOT to pay, that are under dispute the final price of the new Harbor Bridge, is still unknown. It's important to note the other differences between these two bridges, and the biggest one is how they're being managed. Our new Harbor Bridge is what's called a design build. Basically, TxDOT hired the contractor, Flatiron Dragados, who then hires the engineer, FIG, and construction crews. In this type of process, FIG only answers to Flatiron Dragados. The Harris County Bridge, however, is a design bid build. The county hires the engineer and contractor and both report directly to the county. Another big difference, Harris County may attempt to get some of the money back from FIG. Yes, it is a lot of money uh, and we'll try to recoup as much of that from, from FIG, FIG as possible. but. As we said, it, when it comes down to safety, you can't put a price on safety. But some may be wondering, after FIG was released from the main span of the bridge here in Corpus Christi, why are there still so many problems and why the massive delay? In the thousands of documents obtained by Six Investigates, there seems to be a clear message from TxDOT that the plans from the new engineer, hired by Flatiron Dragados, still contain some of the same safety issues from the original FIG design. The tens of millions of dollars associated with just making that change with uh, uh, FIG and removing FIG from the bridge and, and asking FDLLC to bring on another bridge designer. To us, too long to get to this point, 
where we have resolution and we have the contractor that's stepping forward saying, yes, we agree to resolve it to TxDOT's satisfaction. For Six Investigates, Brian Hoffman. Six Investigates originally reached out to TxDOT on November 4th. We asked why portions of the new bridge, the new Harbor Bridge, designed by FIG, were not changed by the new engineer of record. They responded two weeks later after our deadline and told us we would have to speak to Flatiron Dragados, LLC. We asked Flatiron Dragados for an interview, but they told us TxDOT would have to give them permission to speak and had not done so. In the meantime, we did reach out to FIG to ask about its involvement with both bridges. They declined our request for an interview. Now, TxDOT disputes these two bridges should be compared at all and says that it is committed to ensuring completion of a safe bridge. You can read their full unedited statement and response to the questions that we've asked on our website, ChrisTV.com.